Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I just wanted to give you guys an update about this really concerning pattern that's popping up as far as severe weather. Um, so, basically, I'm just going to hop right into it. So, what we got today is just a bunch of thunderstorm risks. Um, they're just going to be some general thunderstorms today. Nothing to worry about. Um, now, tomorrow, we see something quite interesting happen. So, this is tomorrow. Only a 2% tornado chance. So, like a two tornado or two. But, we do see this level 2 risk. It's going to be possibly an uh, interesting wind event. Very late tomorrow. It's more likely that the um, big, big event will happen Friday. And that's what it's looking like as of right now. Now, there is a possibility that... Um, so, there are two basic setups for these storms. So, either we get a line that kind of collides with the cold, dry air... And there's a line of storms, like a squall line, that produces major winds, maybe a couple isolated tornadoes, but it will not be an outbreak if that happens. But we could also have another setup where prefrontal supercells pop up, and then in that case, there would be a chance for several more tornadoes and possibly even some strong ones mixed in. We're hoping it just turns and there aren't as many tornadoes, although a squall line would still be bad. It would be a widespread, big-time wind event. So, it's a possibility Friday could get up upgraded to an enhanced risk, and even into Saturday in the deep south, severe storms are possible. So, right now, there, uh, Thursday, the risk isn't very big for the actual day of Thursday. It's actually almost more likely that the uh, most of the storms will happen very late night or even after midnight. So the biggest of your threat will happen Friday, not Thursday. Although still, if you live in the Midwest Thursday, be prepared just in case any storms come up. They can. There is a 2% tornado chance still, so an isolated tornado too, and then 15% wind chance. Wind is quite possible and hail as well. But your, I'd say your biggest chance for a big severe weather event will be Friday. Um, I am going to show you what the GFS model shows for this and also the um, Canadian and European models. So what we see with the GFS here is we see basically a big blow up of storms almost here. Um, but like I said already... Thursday, they're having trouble, uh, the models are having trouble indicating any possible storms Thursday. So, like I said, it's more likely that this moisture and all this starts coming up Friday. And this is where we could have a big, severe weather event anywhere in these areas Friday. Into Texas as well. And even Saturday into the deep south, like I said, severe weather could still be possible, but it will gradually weaken and move on. So, um... The big severe weather event is more likely Friday. I will say that. Um, so here, let me show you this really quick. So as you guys can see, there is a larger warm air mass here. And this cold air mass in the blue over here is going to eventually kind of collide with it. So something is going to happen, especially... In this area where the cold air mass crosses like this, anywhere in that blue could probably see severe weather. Now, I'm not talking about way up north, but if you were in, like, I'd say more like Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Missouri, those places are more likely to see the severe weather. And I'd say, depending on the setup, like I said earlier, if they're prefrontal supercells, then there could be some larger tornadoes with this event. Now, we're, um... One more thing to talk about besides the severe weather, even though the severe weather is the most serious thing we've got to talk about right now, is um, the tropics. So we got Martin here. It's going to be a Category 1 hurricane. Not going to affect the U.S. Could affect Iceland. Um, that's what it appears right now uh, as a tropical storm force storm. It could affect Iceland. So this is it right now. You can see it is pretty pronounced, actually. Um, it's becoming that way becoming pretty pronounced um so you can see there is almost an eye trying to form right there it looks like it's an eye trying to form 
Um, so it's gonna be a category one. It's gonna stay out to sea. It's gonna be a fish storm. So I wouldn't be too worried about that one. Um, Iceland could get impacted now. Right now, um, this is Lisa category one. Lisa almost making landfall. Now, um, there are hurricane hurricane advisories and warnings posted all around. And you're, like I said, here's your tropical storm winds, most likely. Belize is almost certain, maybe even a Category 1 force wind. So that's why there are hurricane warnings in that area. If you live in that area, be prepared over the next several hours. Hurricane conditions and uh, conditions could deteriorate if you live in Belize. And even in uh, northern Guatemala, you could see tropical storm conditions. And uh, as far as once you get there, just some wind and lots of rain uh, as far as you get past Guatemala. So, um, like in the parts of Mexico, it's just wind rain event, likely. So, that's likely what we're going to see with that. And, um, the main update I wanted to give you guys was the, uh, severe weather, because it is looking pretty concerning. And, um, and if I know any more tomorrow, which I'm not sure if I will, because it's, the models are kind of all over the place, so I'm not sure if we are going to know for sure if it's going to be a tornado event or just a big wind event with a few isolated tornadoes so if i figure anything else out i will give you guys an update so i'm gonna end it up here and i'll see you guys in the next one